Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, KDA, a leading Norwegian defense technology firm, has confirmed plans to co-produce uncrewed surface vessels, USVs, within Ukraine, marking a significant expansion of naval capabilities directly inside an active war zone. This move coincides with Norway's recent commitment of approximately 580 million euros, 6.7 billion Norwegian kroner, to bolster a maritime coalition it leads alongside the United Kingdom. A substantial share of this budget will support the development and manufacture of unmanned maritime platforms based on Kongsberg's cutting-edge technology, with production facilities established on Ukrainian soil. Norwegian Defense Minister Tor O. Sandvik highlighted the strategic importance of this collaboration, affirming that the funds would facilitate joint creation and assembly of surface drones by combining Norwegian expertise with Ukraine's emerging defense manufacturing capabilities. The partnership formalized between KDA and a Ukrainian defense company solidifies this cross-national effort to build next-generation naval drones. Kongsberg brings to Ukraine its extensive experience in autonomous maritime systems, exemplified by the Sounder USV, a modular, medium-sized uncrewed vessel built for multiple roles such as mine detection, reconnaissance, and hydrographic data collection. The Sounder's design incorporates advanced autonomous navigation, adaptable payload modules, and compatibility with Kongsberg's command and control networks. Its low-profile composite hull reduces radar and acoustic visibility, an essential feature for operations in contested littoral environments like the Black Sea. This initiative represents decades of innovation in oceanographic and naval technologies. Moving part of the manufacturing process to Ukraine signals not just a technology transfer but also a commitment to Ukrainian sovereignty and resilience in its defense sector. It ushers in a new era of Nordic-Eastern European defense collaboration focusing on autonomous systems, moving beyond traditional weapons platforms. Kongsberg's USVs provide notable operational benefits, including enhanced speed, reusability, and modular mission adaptability, far surpassing older drone boats and conventional patrol vessels. Unlike single-use kamikaze-style USVs such as Ukraine's Magura V-5, the sounder can be redeployed multiple times. In contrast to Turkey's Yulak system, Kongsberg's vessels prioritize integration with NATO's command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance C4ISR, systems, allowing seamless coalition operations and data sharing. This progression parallels the impact of aerial drones like the Baractor TB2, whose success is now inspiring equivalent maritime unmanned platforms. Geopolitically, establishing USV production in Ukraine poses a direct challenge to Russia's naval dominance in the Black Sea. It reinforces NATO's technological footprint, strengthens the deterrence led by Norway and the UK, and boosts Ukraine's maritime operational capabilities despite its diminished naval fleet. However, it also raises the likelihood of Russian countermeasures, particularly against defense production sites near the coast, intensifying tensions in the hybrid warfare environment at sea. Norway's investment in the maritime coalition is a long-term strategic bet on allied naval strength. While exact details about production numbers and deployment timelines remain confidential, the confirmed contract between Kongsberg and its Ukrainian partner ensures this effort goes beyond mere equipment supply. It includes shared engineering efforts, localized supply chains, and the potential to scale operations for extensive use in Ukraine's maritime zones. Launching uncrewed surface vessel manufacturing in Ukraine elevates the country from a frontline recipient of military aid to an active co-producer of NATO-compatible autonomous naval technology. As modern warfare increasingly incorporates high-tech and hybrid domains, this partnership positions Ukraine at the cutting edge of European maritime defense innovation while underscoring the growing trend of embedding defense industrial cooperation directly within conflict-affected regions.